seen not long ago, but when I was a child, I used to come in this area along here and sunbathe on there and have some fun, fresh air and fun. But when we used to come down between the Central Pier and the North Pier area of Blackpool, we used to nip into the toilets that were in the ground, buried down below the road service in the tramway. It doesn't seem that long ago, but they've been left abandoned since the 80s, I suppose unsociable behaviour and drugs and things. Thankfully the town is a lot better than what it was then. Disrepair, I mean these things were built what in the early 1900s when they were upgraded, I think this one, Central Blackpool, last time it was upgraded was back in the 50s. So you can imagine the thousands of people that have used these toilets, these ladies and gents toilets with the porcelain pots, the brass handles, absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine the tiling work that was all spread across as well? Not like they do now. Not that I'm trying to prettify or beautify bogs really, but they really were definitely a def masterpiece left abandoned. Well, this particular one here at Central Blackpool, it runs under the ground underneath the roadway, underneath the tram tracks and with it being left abandoned for so long it's kind of come unstable. So they've got round now to filling it in with a kind of aerated concrete that they're gonna pump in and it'll make the ground really strong and safe again. I'm not sure if they're gonna do the same with the tall area, but definitely these toilet facilities here are gonna be out of action, out of use for an eternity. One of the things about this tunnel system and toilet system here on the Fowl Coast is that it sparks this big debate that there was a secret network of tunnels running under Blackpool. Just Google it. The secret tunnels of Blackpool comes up with many searches, search results about this secret. And it goes into detail some about the Illuminati or some sort of particular cult that used these tunnels that were underground. I'm not too sure about that. But I really do think that there was a tunnel network that was based under the ground here in Blackpool. And the one of the famous ones was a tunnel system that potentially ran from Blackpool Tower all the way into the Winter Gardens. And it was a service tunnel that the actors used to use. And there were stories then of the cast and the film crew used to use these tunnels as they were moving them backwards and forwards as a storage area that was in the Winter Gardens. So there's loads of stories that surround Blackpool about these tunnels. There's even talk about a tunnel that was underneath Blackpool Airport. And you've got to remember back in World War II that we had the Vickers factory at the airport and they were building the Wellington bomber. So I suppose in the time of an invasion they had to quickly bury plans or something or other. I suppose it's a great idea to get them somewhere down in the tunnels. But all these tunnels are all locked up and away so no one can find them. Hidden secret tunnels. There are service tunnels that used to help supply seawater to the local baths. Derby Baths is definitely one of them. One of the local swimming pools, Derby Baths, used to use these massive pipes here to suck in gallons of seawater, treat it for the baths themselves. The thousands of people, school children like me, have used the baths learned to swim in the water that came from the Irish Sea and the water was taken from here sucked all the way up into some big pumps into swimming baths themselves but there's still an old hut that once had a door there which is now concreted up which was an access chamber which was a, a tunnel system allegedly so they could maintain the pipes clear any blockages and do what they had to do to keep the water flowing. So yes, that's the last only little bit that's left. And again, the same applies to the Sea Life Centre and somewhere near the cliffs where the old salt water Victorian pump house used to be. So we're not alien to tunnels being here in Blackpool. But it's exciting to think about what these tunnels held or what people got up to inside these tunnels. Now this particular tunnel or subway, toilet system should we call it, 
that's at central pier area but it's definitely there because I used it as a child is all being filled in with this concrete and it'll all be closed off for good you've not been able to get access to it since the 80s anyway but it certainly will definitely bring an end to this tunnel going underneath the ground here and it didn't help back in 2000 year 2000 when someone asked for a freedom of information request asking for details on the network of Blackpool secret tunnels and the Blackpool Council declined and I believe it was sent to the Home Office and somewhere on the lines of the Home Office announced that due to the Emergency Constituencies Act that they weren't able to talk about any potential tunnels that were running underneath Blackpool Tower and across the Falcon Coast. But then back in 2015 another freedom of information request was asked of the council because some work was being done on these supposed tunnels and then the council did admit that there is six underground areas across the Fylde coast. I suppose they had to in a way with the work that was being carried out and with these upgrades and new roadways being built across the town some of these uh, old tunnels were starting to unearth themselves and show themselves, primarily old toilet blocks. Because yeah, many, many moons ago, Blackpool had a chamber, many chambers of underground toilets to serve the populace, the tourists that were coming to the town. I suppose with the fair sand that was underneath the earth here, it was quite easy for them to sort of dig and excavate them out and to put the toilets in place to serve all the tourists. There's thousands and thousands of tourists that used to come here to enjoy the wonderful beaches that we have on to offer. Even some were expanded, upgraded in the 1930s. In fact, this one here, its last upgrade, I think was in the 1950s, when a substation was added to the annex, to the original little substation room that was underneath the ground there. And great enough to know that that little sub room, that substation room that was next to the toilet block under the ground by Central Pier was actually a switch room, one of the switch rooms to turn on Blackpool Illuminations. Now this particular one, this underground toilet system by Central Pier, this was sort of shut off I think if I got it right sometime in the 80s and it was just left to be abandoned. And unfortunately we've had metal thieves going in there stealing I suppose brass taps and all the pipe work that was there to offer in doing so tragically smashing up all the porcelain sinks that were on display can you imagine the beautiful porcelain uh, urinals and sinks that were in there would make a great feature wouldn't they in some sort of modern day nightclub I suppose now this particular one here at Central runs under the ground so looking at this map that was passed to me the drawing of the toilet system. You can see here the original one, the original hand-drawn plans, and then compared that slowly to the new one, you can see how the system was improved and upgraded over in the left, and the north side was a new substation built. Gents and ladies toilets all throughout, you came down Chapel Street, you came away from near Bond Street off the promenade into the toilet system, a double stair system that brought you to an underground subway that runs under the road and the tramway. And it came up on the other side where the old lifeboat station used to be. So you could walk underneath the road and the tramway, as many did, they used it as a, a means of a crossing and using the facilities while passing. Tunnels secret tunnels and service tunnels all running under the filed coast in the sands here. Who knows what the real truth lies behind all these tunnel systems. So there you go, tunnels, service tunnels, utility tunnels, secret tunnels. The story in the saga will always go on about Blackpool's hidden tunnels. And definitely one thing, similarity between the tunnels and the stories of them is that they're all gonna remain buried a very long time.